Hey guys, today we're trying out the Mesa Boogie Tri-Axis. This video has been well overdue. The Tri-Axis was actually my second amplifier I bought after owning a Blackface Dual Rectifier. <coughs> Sorry, back in the day. Coupled with a Mesa 290 power amp, I had an incredible John Petrucci-esque rig. I finally came across one almost 20 years later. Let's see how it fares today. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have a separate power amp, so I'm plugging it into my Mesa Boogie Mark 2C Plus power amp. The Triaxis, by the way, is a preamplifier with uh, eight different preamplifier circuits split into three different modes rhythm, lead one, and lead two. It's like uh, they put in all of the Mark preamps into one box with uh, additional other designs of preamps. Later on, one thing that I remember in particular was that the lead one red was insanely tight for metal. And I'm interested to see if this one sounds the same as my old one. There have been a couple of different variations of the Tri-Axis with different mods and modes. And it was usually the lead one red that got affected the most. All right, so let's try it out. I'm using my Solar 160 uh, straight into the Tri-Axis. And the Tri-Axis goes into the Mark II C+. Plus into the Hesu 2x12 cabinet with a Shure SM58 microphone. So these two uh, rhythm modes are basically just for clean. So I'm just gonna skip those. Who gives a shit about cleans anyway? Lead one is basically the Mark I amplifier in, with different variations in the mid-range and the gain. So, uh, it's the most standard version here on the green. Okay. Alright. And the red one is supposed to have even more gain, so it should be aggressive at least. That's what they say in the manual. Okay, cool. And uh, the next row, the lead two, is basically the Mark IV and the Mark II C+. And the lead two green is the lead channel of the Mark IV. And uh, with this lead two, uh, the circuitry shifts, so the tone stacks work before the gain. The same way that it works on the real Mark IV and the Mark II C+. So you're basically shaping the uh, tone that goes into the gain. So it almost works as a boost into an amplifier. So you should definitely turn down the bass if you want a tighter sound. The middle, I kick in the treble. And you can see it's tighter. The problem when you have the tone stacks before the gain is that you don't have any options to shape the tone after the gain. And that's why Mesa Boogie put in the uh, uh, five band equalizers in a lot of the amps. And uh, the dynamic voice that you have here is basically the five band EQ. And the more you use it, the more scooped or more of a V-shaped EQ you will have. So let's try it out. <laughs> So that was the Mark IV lead to green. If you go to the lead to yellow, it's supposed to be the Mark II C+.
think if you set the gain a little bit lower and use the lead to drive uh, to add more gain, you will get a more tight type of sound going. <laughs> Right, and uh, the next lead to red is supposed to be a hot-rodded version of the Mark IV and the Mark II C+, so it's basically more gain. They're calling it the shred mode in the manual, we'll see about that. <laughs> Definitely has a bit more bite to it. So it definitely has a lot of gain. And there you have it, that's the tri-axis for you and uh, all the different modes. And definitely got reminded of how it sounded, it sounds really good and tight even for being such an old preamp. Yeah, that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll hope to see you next time, okay? Bye! Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to interact with me, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See ya!